OK, it's time now to get quite clever with our formulas and look at how we can create a list of dates that are effectively the third Thursday of every month of the year. Possibly because the occurrence of that third Thursday is maybe your payday. That would be useful to be able to work that out. So we have a third Thursday working file which already has formulas in place so that we can look at them and explore them and figure out what's happening so that we can then create our list of third Thursdays. So in here, we have the first cell A2, which is just any date in the month. And what I'm just going to add over here in E2 is to equal the resulting date, which is there the 18th, and change that. And we know how we can custom format. So that displays the day of the week. So currently, we are seeing a Monday. So this is not the third Thursday at the moment, but we will see how we can make it the third Thursday. So here I put any date. As long as it's within the particular month, it doesn't matter what day of the month it is. Because what happens in cell B2 is we actually calculate three weeks in to that month. So we use the date function using the year from A2, so that's this year here, the month from A2, so that's this month here. And then we do a little calculation of one plus seven times three. So that takes us into the third week effectively. Now, the reason that I've left it as one plus seven times three is because before we finish this particular lesson, we're going to look at changing the parameter of that three to a variable so that we can say, actually, I want the second Thursday or the second Wednesday or the fourth Wednesday or Tuesday or Monday. We can control it. So this cell currently works out a date that takes us into the third week. Then we have a little clever bit, which is an integer that we're going to take away from this date here to give us our resulting answer, which currently is Monday. Now, in here, we have the date function again, which is taking the current year from our arbitrary month date here, the month from our arbitrary month date here, and then a little bit of a clever bit here, which is the number eight minus a number two in this case. This number two represents the weekday serial number. And here I've put a list of weekday serial numbers so that you can see them. One is Sunday, two Monday, three Tuesday, four Wednesday, five Thursday, six Friday, seven Saturday. So this is working on Monday, which is why we've got Monday there, and is using a two. So it's eight minus two. So if I wanted to look for the third Thursday, which was the original idea, I replace that two with a five. Now you could do the maths in your head here and say, well, eight minus five is three. I'll put three in there. But again, just like the previous formula, I'm leaving them as two separate values so that we can replace this value with the variable, so with a cell reference, and therefore pick our own day of the week that we want to find. So that way, by changing these two variables that we'll get to, we can say, I'd like the fourth Wednesday or the second Tuesday. You choose. So this takes eight minus the day of the week that I'm looking for, which is Thursday, which effectively produces a date in here from the same month. So it's going to be a date in January 2016. And then I use the weekday function for it to give me the weekday of that particular date that I've just calculated. So if I press return, I find that the date I've just calculated day of the week is actually a Sunday. What we then do is we take that integer value, which happens to be one, away from our arbitrary three weeks in, and we get 121, January 21st, 2016, which I'm told apparently is a Thursday. So quite clever. Two little functions that work together. One that works out an arbitrary three weeks into our month. One that works out the weekday of a date within that month based on a minus calculation of the day of the week. Now, really, those two could be in the same cell. So let's come down here and use them here. So let's take that formula. Actually, let's copy it out of the whole cell so that when I paste it here, it's now looking here. So let's go to February. So again, any date in the month, 7th of February, gives me the 22nd of February. But then I want to take this formula, copy, come into this formula and do the takeaway within here. Now I will have to adjust the cell references because I haven't copied the whole cell. It doesn't move them relatively. So it's A5 and A5. So we have the first of the lot of math minus the second of our lot of math. So we're effectively doing the whole calculation in the same cell. It gives me February 18th. Now if I just do a little double check by equaling that cell and changing the format to the day of the week, which I can do with the format painter, I find that it actually is a Thursday. So if I were to replicate down here, let's go March the 8th, 
I'm just changing the actual day just to prove that they still work. Take a few of these, make sure that we fill months. And then when I replicate this formula down to there, these are all Thursdays and these are the Thursdays of each of our months. Notice it's not jumped two months there. Should really just have taken the first one and fill months. That's better. So now we're at February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October for 2016. Those are all the third Thursday dates for each of those months. So that effectively are the paydays for each of those months if you get paid on the third Thursday. Now, stage two that I wanted to do was to turn this into a much more flexible formula. So we're going to take these three cells that contain the month and the two formulas, copy those and move them into a second sheet. And what we effectively want to do is replace this three, which represents the third week in, and this five, which represents the day of the week we're looking for, with variable values. So let's do those over here. And we'll say occurrence for which week of the month we're looking for effectively. Put a three in there for now. And then the day of the week, which is represented by an integer one to seven. And we'll put a four in there. And then we come across here and we replace that three. So delete with that cell reference. And then that five, delete with that cell reference. And then return, widen that. So that's now the third Wednesday of February. If I then wanted the second occurrence but of Tuesday, I put a three, and I get given the second Tuesday of February, which is the ninth. Our formula then becomes much more flexible because we can now define the occurrence and the day of the week and then create our month list. So let's replicate that again, fill months only. Before I can replicate this, I need to make absolute the reference to F1 and to F2. And I'm doing this with a keyboard shortcut that you may or may not be aware of. I just click into the cell reference. I don't even need to highlight the F and the two. I can just click between them and then F4 on the keyboard fixes up absolutely so it becomes dollar f dollar two so then when i replicate that formula it's still looking at these two values here just need to widen so that i then get the second tuesday for each of the months of 2016 i suppose i ought to have gone backwards to january of the night fill month and replicate these two formulas that way that was a move rather than a replicate a little cross and then I've gone too far because I've gone into 2017. So let's take those away just to tidy up, really. So those are all the second Tuesday dates for 2016. And now I have the formulas in place. I could change the occurrence. I could go for the first, the second, the third, the fourth. And then which day of the week are we looking for? So if it were Sundays and I want to know the fourth Sunday, these are all the fourth Sunday dates for all of the months of 2016. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to our O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.